Hey Kitty, I'm going to the market. Do you need anything for your school project? Cool. Could you please tell me the size of the paper? Oh, I need to know the exact measurement for it, Kitty. Measurement? Yes, little Kitty. Everything around us has a measurement. And it's vital to know how to determine the size of everything. So in today's episode, let us answer this big marks question. What are units of measure? Zoom in! Measurement is a process of finding the number that shows the size or quantity of something which is usually given in terms of a specific unit. Knowing measurement is vital to make sure that things will come out as planned. Without proper measurement, a chef won't know about the amount of ingredients needed in a dish. An engineer won't know how tall the structure will be or how much weight it can take. And you'll find it hard to cut a craft paper properly Whereas, the world at large will face many hindrances. So, to avoid this confusion, people came up with a standard way of measurement called the metric system, which is almost universally used and is often referred to as the International System of Units and abbreviated SI. But a few countries like the United States use the imperial system or US standard unit. So, let us look at them one by one starting with length. Length is one of the most common measurements. Whenever you measure the distance of a place, your height or how long something is on a piece of paper, you are measuring length. In the metric system, length is measured in centimeters, meters and kilometers. In the imperial system, it is measured in inches, feet and miles. The next vital unit of measurement is weight, which is used to determine how heavy or light an object is. For example, when you step on the bathroom scale to weigh yourself, you figure out that you have a certain number of kilograms according to the metric system or pounds as per the US standard unit. Now, let's look at capacity or volume, which is used to measure how much quantity of liquid an object can hold. In a metric system, it is measured in milliliters to measure a very small quantity like the amount of tonic we need to gulp or liter to measure a larger quantity of milk or similar products. While the folks in the US prefer to measure their liquid with units like cup, pint, quart and gallon. Another unit where these different systems are used is temperature, which is used to measure how hot or cold an object is. The Fahrenheit scale or degrees Fahrenheit is used in the United States to measure temperature, while the Celsius scale or degrees Celsius is used as the metric system to measure temperature in many parts of the world. But these differences in measurement do not apply to our next unit. And that unit is time, which is an ongoing sequence of events determined worldwide with the base unit of second, which gradually increases to minute, hour, day, week, and finally a year. Trivia time! Did you know Gabriel Newton a French mathematician is considered by many to be the founding father of the metric system. 
also, since the 1960s, the metric system has been called the International System of Units. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So now tell me, Kitty, how big or small do you need the craft paper to be? Never mind.